this is you. Um, this is your Unix computer, so that's usually Linux or Mac. These are the users on your computer. Uh, there's the root one that controls everything. Uh, there's the ones that are for people, and these are for services and stuff. Each one has an ID and groups, uh, which are kind of like roles. Use the ID or groups command to see them. Uh, this info is also stored in etc. password and groups files. On most systems, the sudo rest group is kind of like an admin role. If you have it, you can use sudo to run as admin, but you don't always want to give admin rights. Uh, here I gave this guy the CD-ROM group, so he can use CVs. Uh, most services intentionally use low privileges. For example, my web server is in the web data group. Uh, so imagine someone hacks into my website. Uh, they only have the web data permissions. Uh, means they can't really do too much uh, because they only have access to the website files. Every file and folder has its own permissions. Uh, you can see them with ls-l. There are three sets of permissions actually. Uh, there's one for the owner, one for the group, and one for everyone. Use the chown command to choose which user and group own the file. As for what you can configure, uh, there are three options. Read and write are self-explanatory. Uh, execute on folders means that you can enter them. Uh, it's a bit weird, I know and execute them files means that you can run them like this. Uh, this is handy when you download viruses because you can't just run them, you need to set the execute bit first. But you can still run files through other programs, so don't run random files regardless. To set permissions, use the chmod command, uh, uppercase r flag for recursive, and here you must put the number, uh, I chose 750, uh, because I want all the permissions for myself, uh, no write permission for the group, and no permissions at all for anyone else. Uh, feel free to screenshot. Uh, there's also like sticky bits and stuff, but don't worry about it. Uh, sometimes you get really angry and just ch777 everything. Uh, this is not a good idea. There's also access control lists. Uh, this allows for per user and per group permissions, so you're not just stuck with this tree. Uh, but for this, you need ACL installed on your computer, and you also need it enabled for your file system. I hope you now understand Unix permissions. Uh, thanks for watching.